the shortest day of the year, undeterred by a snow-covered landscape and the apparent endless darkness swallowing the sun, a chickadee sings while perched on top of the big old apple tree, assuring all who listens that spring will return. Each day after the longest night of the year, the sun will inch its way bit by bit back up the sky, slowly but surely conquering the darkness once again. For now though, it's a time of survival. Blue Jays take advantage of what food they can get, while a junco forages on any seeds it can find. A rough grouse indulges on the buds of an alder tree. And even an elusive and secretive goshawk makes an appearance, scouring the area with its deep red eyes for any movement. Truly a wonderful sight to behold. Rare, cloudless days reveals a gorgeous deep blue sky, thanks to the cool winter air almost completely void of moisture. By day's end, a hazy, free, and vibrant sunset may paint the sky. Almost as if like clockwork, a snowstorm brews on the eve of Christmas, causing pine grosbeaks driven by hunger to come out to eat. Other birds seek shelter when they can while fluffing out their feathers for added warmth as the storm roars on through. Winter's here. The new year is greeted with a hungry flock of evening grosbeaks, a rare treat to these backyard feeders. After days of an overcast sky, the sun finally comes out. Quite low, but a welcome sight nonetheless and beautiful to watch as it begins to set by 4 p.m. Sunny days don't last for long around here. Heavy snowfall and snowstorms dominate the days once again, causing snow-covered jays to reduce their activity to conserve their precious energy. preferring instead to stay hidden in a tree most of the time, often with feathers poofed out to keep warm. It always helps to have a peanut nearby, too. A fluffed-up nuthatch eats a seed it wedged into the tree bark, making the best of this harsh, cold month. A sweet little chickadee puts its little foot up into its body to warm it up a sure sign that the temperatures are frigidly cold. Cold days causes little birds to eat more frequently, fattening up for the long night ahead. Finches come out in droves to feeders, all eager for their turn. Apples that somehow manage to hang on to its mother tree throughout all the weather is too irresistible for a hungry, colorful flock of pine grosbeaks. Such a treat to see. A lovely little chickadee may enjoy some too. Even with dusk imminent, a few grosbeaks may still be out foraging on any berries they can before roosting for the night. A snowshoe hare is out till dusk too foraging, but not on anything sweet, instead just a bland old twig. A halo around the sun starts February off, a beautiful phenomenon. It's deep into winter now and visitors from the Arctic appear. A lovely flock of bohemian waxwings flying by looking for juicy apples and berries to eat. A hungry, vibrant, chatty flock of red poles foraging on the seeds of alders. And a northern shrike comes by in hopes of a snack, successfully upsetting the little birds. How breathtakingly beautiful blue jays look in all the snow, providing such vibrancy to this white landscape. 
In the wonderful boreal forest, a lovely character may be seen too, the beautiful fluffy Canada Jay. A hardy bird true to these woods and so much fun. Another wonderful bird true to these woods, the aptly named gorgeous boreal chickadee, won't pass up the chance to have a peanut to eat. One more charming bird of these woods, the willow ptarmigan, appears as if like a ghost. How fun to watch as it pushes through the snow with its heavily feathered snowshoe feet in search of alders and willows to eat. Gorgeous, thick, fluffy white plumage and sweet black eyes. What a lovely little grouse. One that's made for the harsh climate of this incredible place. But no characters of these forests provide such entertainment like that of Corvitz. A raven in need of some fun and excitement dares to pass through a crow territory, knowing full well it will upset them. So fun to watch its silly antics. Even those pesky squirrels provide some laughter from time to time, helping to break up the monotony of winter. But nothing is sweeter than seeing a lovely mama moose with her babe. So sweet and pure, those young innocent eyes, still so very new to this world. Tracks in the snow reveal who has been around. Fun to imagine what those woodland creatures were up to. After days of nothing exciting happening, the eye catches something yellow. A lovely male black-backed woodpecker working on a tree in search of some grub to eat. A good comb production attracts a colorful group of white-winged crossbills all happily foraging together in a tight-knit family. Just like with the previous years, the jays get active around the middle of March, courting and singing, preparing for the nesting season that is very near. The days are getting longer once again. All may seem well, but in these northern woods, winter is far from done. Sheila's brush is likely to hit. The birds will have to endure another winter storm. But with the sun up high and gaining strength each day, brighter, warmer days are ahead. Creating a welcomed opening of water for a much needed refreshing drink and a bath. Sunnier Days has interesting and secretive characters poking its head out as if to catch some sun on its face after a long, dark winter. Brown patches in its fur is so telling. Spring is finally here. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And just a quick friendly reminder, I have new Bird Nerd shirts available until the 30th of December. They will ship out in the first week or two of January. I will provide a link down below in the description and in the comments too. Wishing you all a lovely holiday season. Thanks so much for your support and all of your wonderful comments. Happy birding!